Oh my god, Lava Piranha attacked me and just ruined Christmas! I knew it came full circle this time! everybody i am luke from the master sword valley and like i said i want to wish you all a merry christmas and a happy holidays today we are doing the josh's christmas mod or joshua's christmas mod as it's called on the forums this is a basic christmas mod that adds a ton of new decorations and a ton of new items into your minecraft game so you can set you know up, set up your house for a festive christmas time maybe you have it with some friends or you know just have yourself a good time before the holidays so we have a ton of crafting recipes to go over so i guess let's just get this started Woo! Alrighty, so let's start off with the baked goods. So the first thing we're gonna need right here is some festive looking green colored and red colored and blue colored sugar. To make those, it's very, very easy. You just take three sugars and combine it with whatever dye you want. So you can put red dye in, you can put blue dye, you can put green dye, and you'll get three of the respective sugars that you wish. And then you can take that sugar or plain sugar and make a bunch of cookies out of it, which all it takes is two wheat and one sugar and you'll get some sugar cookies. Now, if you switch the sugar with a colored sugar, you will get some stars for the red, trees for the green, and bells for the blue. You get eight cookies of each. Very, very nice, actually. Now, the next thing we have right here are some of my favorite treats, our pies. We have an apple pie and a chicken pot pie. To make the apple pie, you're going to need two apples, one sugar, and three wheat, and you'll get the apple pie. And then for the chicken pot pie, you're going to need two carrots, one ch cooked chicken, and three wheat, and you'll get the chicken pot pie. Now the cool thing about these is that you could put the apples and sugar or the carrots and chicken in any formation that you want. So if I were to say do it like this or do things like that, it would still count in the crafting menu, which is a really cool detail that the, I love the fact that developers added. Now the next thing we have right here is a gingerbread man. To make that, you're going to need two red sugar and four gingerbread. Now you're probably wondering, what did I get the gingerbread? Well, let me tell you. To make the gingerbread, you're going to need two wheat, one sugar, and a ginger root. Now to get the ginger root, you can basically find it in ordinary loot chests that you'd find throughout your world. So you can find it in like villages, you can find it in maybe woodland mansions and dungeons, temples, things like that. So it's just a random spawn thing basically. And you can grow it to, on your own farm. But that's how you get ginger root and that's how you can make some gingerbread. To result, make gingerbread men and yeah, cookies and sweets and yay. Now let's move on to some festive drinks before I move on to more sweets. We're tackling all the sweet stuff first. The first things we have right here is an empty mug. You actually get four of these per. To make those, you're going to need three white terracotta in a formation like this, like a bucket, and you'll get four empty mugs. Now you can take those mugs and make some hot chocolate or some eggnog. Now let's start with the hot chocolate. To make that, you're going to need an empty mug, some milk, a sugar, and some cocoa beans, and you'll make some hot chocolate. Now the eggnog is basically the same as the hot chocolate, just replace the cocoa beans with an egg. You will give you an egg, and you'll get the eggnog. Now the eggnog and the hot chocolate basically act like festive milk. You drink it, and you will get rewarded basically with your empty mug again, but you will clear all potion effects. As you can see, I hit myself with slowness, and then I drink these, and I'm all set. So they basically act like your ordinary milk, but it's a more festive way of clearing potion effects. Woo! The next few festive candy things or sweet things that we have are peppermint candies, which I believe was also something in Noel Christmas. I don't remember. To make those, you're going to need a sugar, a red sugar, and a peppermint leaf, and you'll get eight peppermint candies per crafting recipe. Now, the peppermint leaf actually spawns from a peppermint seeds right here, as you can see, which those can also be found randomly throughout random loot chests. So your best bet might be villages, it could be temples, I really don't know, but yes, that is how you can get peppermint seeds, and now you can get a peppermint leaf to make peppermint candies. Then you can take those peppermint candies and make two candy canes by putting three in a pattern like this, or if you switch them, a pattern like this. I really like that the developers added that, how you can actually uh, change the crafting recipe so that uh, like whatever formation it's in still counts. I like that a lot. The next thing we have right here are some peppermint logs, which just look absolutely delicious on the wall. Like, ugh, ugh. Ah, so minty. But to make that, you're going to need nine peppermint candies in a block pattern like this, and you'll get to peppermint log. It's similar to making, you know, a, a block of gold or iron or teardrops. I'm normal, I swear. 
The next thing we have right here that didn't exactly fit with any of the other stuff in the chest is a decorative mistletoe. To make that, you're going to need a red wool and a wild mistletoe. Now, to get a wild mistletoe, it comes from mistletoe berries. Now, the wild mistletoe will actually spawn randomly throughout your world. According to the forums, uh, it will not spawn in hot or dry human biomes. So, no savannas or jungles or deserts or things like that. So, your best bet is probably in taiga or forest biomes and such. You'll find them growing underneath leaves. And when you break them, it will yield a wild mistletoe and some mistletoe berries so you can grow them over and over again. So that doesn't really do much. Uh, the berries, however, you can actually eat them, but they are poisonous. As you can see, I got a nausea and hunger effect from that. So that's uh, pretty dumb of me to do that. But I just wanted to point out that they could, that of course they, uh, you know, can do that. That they are rather dangerous to eat. All right, now that we're done with the sweet stuff, let's move on to the actual Christmas stuff. The first thing we have right here is your Christmas tree. To make that, you're going to need a spruce log and two spruce leaves. They have to be specifically spruce. No other kind of tree log or leaves will do so. And you'll get one Christmas tree. And the Christmas tree is not very tall. It's a little bit taller than the player character right here, as you can see. But it's just a nice little festive thing that you can do to spruce up your house and such. I would still go for building like an actual tree out of it, but it still counts. The next thing we have right here are some Yule Logs, and you might have actually seen these that I actually use these right over here. I happen to light them ablaze and they haven't burned down my whole house. Not that you've seen. To make the Yule Log, you're going to need a Spruce Log and four Netherrack, and you'll get one Yule Log. Now this Yule Log basically functions like normal Netherrack, however you can also use it in normal crafting recipes if you just happen to have a burning piece of wood in your inventory about to be like, hey I can use that to make some planks or something. So yeah. I don't think it make Yule planks, but Yule log. The next thing we have right here are wreaths. Now to make those, you're going to need four spruce leaves and four red wool, and you'll get two wreaths, which actually works out pretty well because you can stick them up on the wall right there or wherever you please around your house, but you can also stick them on doors right here, as you can see. Now every time you break the door, you will get that wreath back. So you don't have to worry about, you know, running out of doors or wreaths or, you know, so it's, it's thankful for that. I actually get two wreaths for that. Nice. Well, yeah, so that's the reeds there. Next thing we have right here is the icicles, which didn't exactly fit in another chest. To make that, you're going to make a T form out of five ice blocks here, and you'll get eight icicles. Now, these icicles can just be placed underneath things like that to give more of a menacing look, because they look like actual spikes, really. But they're just a nice little festive thing, and I like how they're 3D. That's a nice touch. Now, the next things we have right here are some Christmas light bulbs. To make those, you're going to need a glowstone, an iron ingot, and some stained glass panes. I chose white here for this demonstration, but you can also use them out of red, yellow, lime, blue, and purple. Why you can't use dark green, I don't know. There's no actual green light bulbs, only there's uh, lime. Well, they're called green, but you use lime glass panes for them. I don't really understand, but you can take those and you can make some Christmas lights with those. And to make those, you're going to need four bowls, which you ha conveniently get with every crafting recipe and three string on top and you'll get three bulbs, three strands of lights, excuse me. However, that's not entirely the case. Right here, we have some rainbow Christmas lights, which are unique in uh, certain ways, obviously. To make those, you're going to need a green, yellow, red, blue, and purple lights with three string, and you'll get four rainbow Christmas lights. Why do you get four from these and three from everything else? I don't really know. But the other unique one I wanted to go over was that there's red and green Christmas lights, which takes two green lights, two red light bulbs, two green light bulbs, yes, and three string, and you'll get the red and green Christmas lights. I love, I do like how you get a set of three every time, really nice. And now we move on to the last few crafting recipes of this mod. The first thing we have right here is a Santa hat. To make that, you're going to need four white wool and three red wool. However, there's also a green Santa hat, which you can replace the red wool with lime wool, and you'll get a the green variety. And then the same thing applies to the stockings, just the crafting recipe is different. It, this one takes five wool, red wool or lime wool, and two white wool for both of them, and you'll get two stockings, whether it be red, whether they be green. And for the final two crafting, crafting recipes, blah, blah, blah. And for the final two crafting recipes we have here are some presents. What Christmas wouldn't be complete without presents? So for basic presents right here, you're going to take four paper and four dies in the corners, and you'll get a present. But this is a red present that I have. You can also make green, yellow, blue, and purple presents out of that, as well as whites. That's the one die I forgot. 
Okay, I got it. So, like I said, you can make it out of red, green, yellow, white, blue, and purple dye. You can make the presents out of that. And you will also have here are some present chests, which are the same crafting recipe as the present. Just stick a chest in the middle and you'll make a festive looking chest. You can also use it out of the same colors right here. Now these items are kind of exclusive to creative mode. There's no crafting recipe associated with them. We have some music tracks here. We have uh, Wish You Merry Christmas. We have Silent Night. We have Deck the Halls. We have Jingle Bells. But we also have this, Snow for Slabs. This is a creative only item and it basically lets you put snow on top of slabs right here, as you can see. Uh, of course it's gonna melt because it's right next to the fire, but it's kind of nice how you can do that. It makes uh, some of your decorations look a lot better. Fortunately, breaking those caused um, caused me to have to re-put my slabs down. But like with normal with normal snow, you obviously you can't put it on top of slabs, which is really unfortunate. So come there comes along this. You can put snow on top of slabs. But with that, uh, that's gonna go ahead and wrap things up for the Joshua's Christmas mod. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope that you all have a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. Enjoy spending time with your family. Hope you guys get some awesome gifts and such. And yeah, if you like this video, make sure you stab that like button. I would always appreciate new subscribers to the Master Sword Valley. I always do. And make sure you check out the mod down below, as well as all my social media stuff down there. Maybe tweet at me, happy birthday, or not happy birthday, Merry Christmas. God, I failed this freaking outro, man. And uh, while you're at it, uh, make sure you comment down below any mod suggestions that you have in the future. I will always take them. But that's all I really wanted to say. My name is Luke, and say it with me. Stay strong and feel the power. See ya! We don't celebrate Christmas, but I hate the cold too, so he gets a free pass from me.